Hi, Bill here, and welcome to the workshop. Some of you may have noticed that my mist coolant nozzle is set about 100 millimeters from the cutter. This compromise setting is to allow for clearance on tool change between the nozzle and the tool rack. But I was not happy with this, so I decided to design and make a mist coolant nozzle retraction device to allow the nozzle to swing out of the way on tool change and back into position when the cutter starts cutting. And that's what today's video is all about. Okay, let's get started. This coolant nozzle should swing down and Miss Coolant will start. <coughs> Cycle finished, nozzle swings out of the way, spindle goes to home position. Dropping off surfacing tool, picking up two flute 8 mil, and there's the clearance to the nozzle on the tool bed. And so now we'll start the 2D adaptive pocketing operation. Nozzle should swing down. This coolant turns on. Perfect. Nozzle swings out of the way. Pocketing finish. Looks like a dream. Next tool change. Pop off the two flutes. Pick up an eight more three flutes. Run some finishing passes in those pockets. Try and get a better wall finish. And all done. Till it turns off, nozzle swings out of the way. Great. finished. And once again, gun will turn off, nozzle will swing out of the way.
sauce down to dip. And nozzle will swing out of the way, the spillant turns off. Yep, all works great. And so starting the final operation, which is a chamfer operation. Spindle starts, gets up to speed, the spillant nozzle swings down. Point four of a millimeter chamfer. Yeah, for a chunky piece, I think that's, that's about the right side chamfer. And all finished. The spindle goes back to homing position, and the part is made. And so now this printed ABS bracket has now been machined out of alloy. Turned out good. Happy with the surface finishes. Yeah, very nice. I think I've hit a good recipe for the speeds and feeds. So just picking it up, turning it around. Very happy with that. Okay. And here is the finished component with the alloy parts fitted to the spindle. Hi, and welcome back. So, from an idea to a drawing to 3D printed parts, which I use to machine the alloy parts for my Miss Cullen nozzle retraction device. I enjoyed the project, it all went well. Looking forward to doing more of these sorts of things in the future. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.